do you want to deliver a speech that will engage your audience in 30 seconds? I am going to share with you proven techniques to begin your speech that will engage your audience. After listening to this speech, you will have a cornucopia of speech opener ideas. Before we get into the 10 best ways to begin your speech, I want to share with you some purposes of having a successful speech opener. First, you want to get the attention of your audience. Why should people listen to you? You have to engage them at their emotion level and, and their mind. Think of things that would interest your audience. You need to introduce the topic. Get to the purpose of the speech. Why are you giving the speech? You establish rapport in the opening. People are getting to know you and what you're sharing about. It's, the opening should be about five to 10% of your speech. And before we get into those best ways, I want to share with you two things that are very important about your speech that, are, that happen before you even open your mouth to start your speech. That's your title and your introduction. It's very important to have an intriguing title that draws people in. <clears throat> Oftentimes you can use numbers like four habits of successful speakers or 10 best ways to hook in your audience in 30 seconds <laughs> or the thing you need to know about beer those are some excellent examples to entice the listener okay now we are going to get into the 10 best ways to hook an audience in 30 seconds the first technique is to make a shocking statement every second a slice of rainforest the size of a football field is mowed down that's over 31 million football fields of rainforest each year. Now that type of statement just leaves people stopped in their tracks. They want to know more. They're shocked. So beginning with a shocking opener is a great way to draw in your audience. Another example, number two, would be begin with a quotation. A quotation can add authority to your speech that somebody knows about this. They can, it can amuse your audience, can add humor. It can add drama and emotion to your speech. <clears throat> I did a speech on preventative health, and I used a quote from a U.S. Senator to add authority to the speech. It was U.S. Senator Tom Harkin. It said, America's healthcare system is in crisis precisely because we systematically neglect wellness and prevention. So that right there gave me the authority to talk on this subject. This is an important subject. So you can use a quote, that's a good example. Number three, best technique for an opener is take them through a what if scenario. What if you were debt free? And then you can talk about a money management program maybe. Or what if you had no fear? Then you can go into talking about public speaking or overcoming fears or pursuing your dreams. So taking the audience through a what-if scenario draws them in. Number four technique is to add a little show business. How about show me the money? Or you can't handle the truth. <laughs> Those are quotes that we all know from movies. You can think of ones that are universal to us all. It draws us in, we all kind of giggle and laugh and have a commonality in that and are drawn in with curiosity. Number five, best way to open a speech is tell a story. My brother and I went hunting last week in the woods behind my house. Draw them in with an intriguing story that builds momentum. Alex, who's not here today, is great at doing that. She's a great storyteller. She's done this a few times. One time she walked us through a story about hearing a noise in her backyard and we didn't know what it was. So it just hooked us in, and we finally found out it was, it was somebody she knew, but she thought it was a burglar or something. So telling a story is a great way for us to track and be drawn in to the story, to the speech. Number six, best way to open your speech is ask a rhetorical question. Do you know what to do if your child begins to choke? I think Dick actually did this example, and it kind of shocked us too, you know, where you're, do I know? Well, I need this information, I've, I'm on the edge of my seat. Sharon began a speech 
asking, are you prepared if there's an emergency? And then she went through the visual of packing an emergency packing. So it was something very practical and something we wanted to, to know after she asked us that question. Any other examples? Don't all jump in at once. Okay, number seven. Best opener is to begin with imagine. Imagine we had a world with no violence. And then maybe you could talk about fixing the prison system or guns. Imagine you had $10 million. Maybe you're gonna then talk about a savings plan or investing that kind of puts them in that feeling of, imagine I had that. They're drawn into the speech. Best opener number eight is use a reference or a historical or current, use a reference to a historical or current event that relates to your speech. Now this could be a sporting event, the World Series. We have, this, we have the Super Bowl coming up in January. If your topic somehow relates to that, that's again a commonality we all share that you could talk about. Or you could say today in history. Look up today in history what happened. Maybe it relates to your speech in some way. That would be an interesting fact to start your speech with. Number nine is use humor. You could use a story or a one-liner. I know Clifton and Dick are great at that. Drawing people in with something that happened to you. Joel Osteen, who has a church with 40,000 people, well-known around the world, starts his sermons with a joke. He lightens them up. He wants people laughing and happy when he starts his sermon. And that's what we could do too. It, obviously, if it related to the speech, that would be helpful. <laughs> but drawing them in with humor lightens the atmosphere in the room. We wish we had some of our humorous people in here to give us some examples. <laughs> yeah, I did a, a road rage speech like a long time ago, and I, I quoted uh, George Carlin. Uh, to paraphrase it, uh, do you ever notice that the people who drive slow are, are idiots and the people that drive fast are maniacs? <laughs> <laughs> That's great, yeah. You like the quote that. and very humorous. That's excellent, right. It gets people right away engaged. Now the number 10 best way to hook in your audience is, drum roll, use visuals or do a demonstration. Sharon used a visual of a place setting. So already before she started the speech, we were intrigued seeing a plate and napkin and cup. And then she went on to talk about how to have manners at a business meeting. Those, the visuals really added to the speech. Alex used a dollar bill and crumpled it up and then showed us that even when things don't happen the way we want in our life, we still have value, just like this dollar bill has value even, even if it's crumpled up. Just a great visual to remind us what the speech was about. I started a speech by dropping a pen and asking why it dropped to display the concept of gravity. And that, again, gives people a visual and using another sense besides just auditory to help engage people in the speech. Now, briefly, we're going to talk about openings to avoid. <laughs> you do not want to do this. Avoid acknowledging the amount of preparation. Starting the speech with, you know what, I hardly prepared, but please, you know, just listen and, you know, give me grace. <laughs> and that is not the way you want to open. You just put your best foot forward and it'll come out well. Also, avoid being dull and boring. This is kind of obvious, you think. But I think with being boring, vocal variety really comes into play. Because when you, we think of boring, we think of monotone. We think of just one state, one voice, one kind of lowered voice. When we change our vocal cords to have high and low and slow and fast, that adds emotion into the speech. So that's it. Vocal variety is a great way to avoid being boring. Also, you can't look like you're not enjoying your speech. We're definitely not going to enjoy the speech if the person up here is not just kind of going through it monotone. You have to be the person that's the most engaged in your speech to avoid, having a, avoid being boring. Lastly, avoid 
delaying mention of the topic. Again, we want the topic to be in the title, in the introduction, all laid out, and we want it very clear so people are not getting lost. Even from the get-go, people need to know what your speech is about. In conclusion, the beginning of your speech is perhaps the most important part of your speech because the audience is deciding, is this relevant to me or not? Am I interested? Do I want to listen? Use these best ways to hook your audience so they are on the edge of their seat listening to you. Thank you.